Do you want to ensure the high availability and low latency for your applications and services? Look no further than Amazon Route 53 hosted zones. So here it is. Let's talk about AWS Route 53 hosted zones. A hosted zone is like a container that holds information about a specific domain name such as www.amazon.com. So think of it like a phone book for the internet. When you type in a website address in your browser, your computer needs to look up the corresponding IP address to find the right website that we have already discussed. So a hosted zone holds the information that tells your computer which IP address to go to for a particular website address. So this is the main thing. And by managing your hosted zones, you can easily change the information that your computer uses to find the right websites. It is an essential part of how the internet works and understanding this is the key to managing your website domain name and routing your website traffic to the right place. And that's why it is written here. It's a place where you can store the DNS records that tell the internet where to find your website, where to send email and how to access other resources associated with your domain name. So you might be getting confused that what is a hosted zone and why it looks similar or why it sounds similar to the DNS, DNS zone. So I'll tell you one thing. It is basically like DNS zone is the standard DNS equivalent of a Amazon Route 53 hosted zone. So it is a portion of the DNS namespace that is managed by a specific authoritative DNS server and contains the DNS resource records that define how a domain should be resolved. And that's what hosted zone also does. So that is the equivalence that you can draw from. And there are two types of hosted zones. So one is basically your public hosted zone. So a public hosted zone is a type of hosted zone in Route 53 that is publicly accessible on the internet. It contains DNS records that map domain names to corresponding IP addresses or other resources that are publicly accessible on the internet, such as web servers, email servers or load balancers. And when you create a public hosted zone, you can specify the DNS records for your domain name and make it accessible to the internet. Remember, public hosted zone is a type that is publicly accessible on the internet. Remember that. And we have another one that is called private hosted zone. A private hosted zone, I hope, I am thinking that you might already guessed that it is a type of hosted zone that is accessible only within your VPC or your on-premise network and it contains DNS records that map domain names to corresponding IP address or other resources that are only accessible within your private network such as internal web servers or databases. So we need to make use of them as per our requirement. So I hope you get the point here. So one is the public hosted zone and the other one is the private hosted zone. And here you can see we have the resources that are publicly accessible with the public hosted zones connecting to the resources. And we also have the private hosted zone connecting to the VPC on the ones that are only accessible within your private network such as internal web service or databases. Don't worry about this. We will discuss more on this as well. Subscribe to the Pythaholic YouTube channel for awesome content and it's completely free because we believe the best time to start learning is right now.